Hi team, first and foremost, thank you for your dedication to keeping our city safe over the last four days. Just when I thought we were starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel from the pandemic, one incident from another state, the transgression of an officer from somewhere else took hold of our entire country. The outrage is real and it is just, but the violence and the destruction of our city is not. You answered the call and you did what needed to be done and like true warriors, you protected our city and our citizens when people were burning and destroying it. On Monday morning, I awoke to a viral video of an arrest made by Lee Katebu. When I determined what occurred, it was obvious to me that Lee did exactly what he was supposed to do. Two kids were lighting fireworks in the middle of the street when he asked for the ID of the man supervising them. The man said he had to go inside and get it. Understanding that that put him at a tactical disadvantage, Lee advised him not to go inside and instead just asked him to provide his name. The man refused and started to go in the house. Lee attempted to stop him and the man shook loose from his grip and went inside. This was a clear case of obstruction. And when the man came out, he was arrested. The arrest was sound. However, that video caused outrage and we received threats to protest and burn down the APD. I met with Lee and the mayor and at the mayor's request, Lee agreed to apply discretion and not charge the individual. This was not done as an act of weakness. Rather, we attempted to discern the bigger picture and hoped that by applying discretion, it would quell the tensions and ultimately, we hoped it would prevent further acts of violence towards the police and in our city. This was a gesture in looking at the greater good. The incident caused tension because all anyone could see was a black man playing with his kids and being arrested by a white officer over fireworks. And I get that. What a police officer saw and heard were fireworks and kids in the middle of a street, a safety issue. Lee was simply going to take his name and give a warning. Instead, the man obstructed, and I know that didn't have to happen. Two weeks ago, maybe it never would have. Perhaps two weeks ago, the man wouldn't have defied Lee. I honestly don't know. What I do know is that I appreciate Lee and those of you who understand the complexities of this issue and have the intellectual and emotional capacity to brainstorm a solution that might provide a better outcome. Most of you get it and have even said that this was a no-win scenario. Both sides were not wrong. So thank you for your understanding because it worked. The threats lost momentum because it was the right thing to do. I have learned that one person came forward to air his concerns that the department doesn't, quote, have your backs. He wondered if we're going to ask officers to go out there and do their jobs and then drop charges whenever someone asks. To you, I say that is preposterous. We need you out there fulfilling the mission to keep our community safe from harm. Again, this was a no-win situation and we applied some abstract thinking in order to prevent a bigger problem. So if you need reassurance that you will be allowed to perform your duties, you have it. I know it seems unfair that the grievances of others are suddenly being targeted at you. Perhaps it is unfair, but remember that you represent an entire profession and their transgressions are all of ours. I have attempted to do more listening than talking and it has opened my eyes to the fact that inequity exists and we have to confront it. In talking with our African-American officers, I am told stories of how many times they or their kids have been pulled over by police. This is a real fear for them and one that I have not had to endure. My hope is that we can use this moment in time as an opportunity to attempt to see, really see life from someone else's lens. If there is one thing that I have learned as 26 years as a cop is that hurt people hurt people. So please be open to learning and showing compassion to those who are in pain, even if you don't believe you had a part in inflicting it. Let them air their grievances and listen. Remember, protesters are different than opportunists who are doing harm. Talk to your brothers and sisters in blue who have a different skin color. 
talk to our citizens who are different than us, then seek first to understand and then be understood. Keep protecting our city, but do so in a way that is based on justice and fundamental fairness to all human beings. Stay safe and take care of each other.